The AK-47 is perhaps the most widespread firearm in the world. Carried by American enemies and allies alike since 1947, it is the standard infantry weapon for 106 countries. There are an estimated 100 million AK-47 of a number of variations around the world. It's a popular weapon among firearms enthusiasts, professional soldiers and terrorists alike. In the United States, it has a reputation as their bad guy weapon, given its history and usage among so many former enemies. Its Russian name is Avtomat Kalashnikov, also known simply as the Kalashnikov. It was named for its inventor, Senior Sergeant Mikhail Kalashnikov. He was supposedly a wounded T-34 tank commander in the Red Army during World War II. According to legend, he admired the weapon was made by the Nazis. After five years of engineering, the former agricultural engineer made his famous weapon. It was based on a number of other designs floating around at the time, mostly Germany's Sturm G44. Called STG-44 for short, the Sturm G was the first real mid-range infantry rifle. It didn't shoot a heavy round but could still lay down heavy fire. The AK-47 was designed to do the same. But the true brilliance of Kalashnikov's invention was in its simplicity. It was designed for all-around ease of use, easy to repair, easy to unjam, if it ever does, easy to maintain. If a round is chambered in an AK-47, chances are good that weapon is going to fire. His creation was so simple and dependable that the Soviet Union began exporting the weapon en masse. The country made so much money from exporting the weapon, that Kalashnikov received special treatment in the USSR and later Russia for the rest of his life. The first AK-47 were very heavy and weren't really built for aiming. Kalashnikov wanted to develop a compact weapon that still delivered firepower within 300 meters that could bring a blaze of bullets, with ammunition light enough that soldiers could carry a lot of it. A real 1947 Kalashnikov is, surprisingly difficult to fire for a standard infantry weapon, but it was still very easily produced and easily used. Today's AKs are actually AKMs, modernized, and variations on the AKM. Everyone will still refer to it as an AK-47 or simply a K, because it sounds cool. The weapon uses a 7.62 mm high-velocity round that can destroy whole areas of a body. They shatter bones, tear through organs and liquefy other materials as the round tumbles through the body often in ways that cannot be repaired. When the AK-47 was first introduced, it was such a great weapon that the Red Army actually hid it from the world. The US didn't really know about its existence until the mid-1950s. Not that the American military would buy its standard issue rifle from its main geopolitical foe and potential World War III adversary anyway. These days, the US does not field AK-47, but some members of its military are trained to use them. Special operations forces from all branches might have to pick up an enemy AK-47 at some point because of the nature of their work, sometimes help isn't coming. The worldwide availability and durability of the AK-47 also makes it an attractive weapon for terrorists, militias, and other illegal paramilitary organizations. Whether they're trying to take over a military base in frozen tundra or overthrowing a government, in sub-Saharan Africa, the AK-47 works really well in every environment, is always available and will still work even if it falls into water, mud, sand or some other muck. The AK is officially assembled in 12 countries, but, unlicensed and clandestine producers are impossible to count. The first nation to receive a license was the Hungarian People's Republic, where on January 1, 1955, FEG launched an exact replica of the Soviet AK, the AK-55. In the future, the military technical cooperation between the USSR and Hungary continued, and all modifications of Soviet weapons were made available for production in Hungary. The next country to begin producing the Kalashnikov assault rifle was China. 
they gave their assault rifle the name Type 56. It is generally similar to the AK, except for the integral spike bayonet in stowed position, which folds down and back. Also, there was no chrome barrel bore, gas piston, or action on the early issue assault rifles, which reduced the survivability of these components. There, Type 56 was in service with the Chinese army for 30 years, and now continues to be produced for export. After China, with a minimum time interval, the production of the famous Soviet weapon was also established in the German Democratic Republic, Poland, Bulgaria, Romania, North Korea and Yugoslavia. In addition, Egypt, Syria, Libya, Cuba, Lebanon, and India all engaged in assembly of the weapon, from Soviet components. Small arms such as the AK were not only prevalent among countries of the socialist camp, but the assault rifle's reliability, ease of use, and simplicity of design led to the emergence of production clones in other countries as well. If you enjoyed the video it would be great if you like, share and subscribe to our channel for more amazing